Hi guys, welcome to RPG Nexus, and today we're covering the next part of the Disgaea walkthrough. Now, the last time we were here, we were in the item world, and we were getting our sword breaker up to level 10, but the monsters in there were too strong for that, so we had to move over to a common sword. So we had to get that up to plus 10 instead. Now, if you're at this point in the game, you'll want to equip that common sword, or if you were better than me, you've got something else that's level 10. Now, as you can see, this is level 10. It's actually better than the sword breaker. The more you level it up, the better it actually becomes. So we've got to equip our common sword to Laharl to progress further than we already have. So here we go. So we're gonna go into Dinero Palace and we're going into the Gaudi entrance. Now I will be covering all four mini maps inside this area to try and give you a better understanding of what you need to do. Always check those corners to see if there's any enemies hiding in them. Now remember guys, if you're enjoying the walkthroughs, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot and lets you guys see the next videos as well. So we're going to put our three melees in front of their three melees. And we're going to leave our ranged fairly far back. I'm not going to bring out the healer quite yet. Hopefully Flon doesn't get clobbered. We could just block off the staircase altogether. Which is probably what I'm going to do. That way none of them are getting through to our ranged. And the range can just attack from a distance, and that'll do. Standing next to each other and getting those team attacks is really useful. The monks always counter attack. Nothing we can do about that. So we've blocked off the stairs, so they'll have to come around the side to get to us now. And that's going to pose more of a problem for them. So we can go ahead and move up, finish this guy off, move up, finish this guy off, come around here, and hopefully finish this guy off as well. So we'll execute and see what happens. Yeah, it looks like all three of them are going to go down. Perfect. Level up for our mage. So we're going to go ahead and try to heal somebody. Okay, so these three have moved into a perfect position to just use Blazing Knuckle with Laharl. So let's see if this kills all three of them. Okay, it didn't kill any of them, but it did weaken them. So that lets our weaker characters come in and finish the job. That green guy's actually got an axe, so he's gonna hit really hard. So we're gonna see if we can take him down this time. Yep, we were able to take him down, thankfully. So thankfully none of our printers actually died, so that's good. Now what we can do is we can move our healer up here, and we can 
heal our two prennies. Now I know this game sounds hard guys to play, but don't give up if you're getting beat or if you're running out of money, just go back and do weaker maps until you've built up a nice amount of money. I know healing takes quite a lot of money on this game. Ran into that same little snag myself not too long ago. Well, Harold really is a strong character. It was kind of expected for her to have a lot of HP. Did a lot of damage with that staff. Oh, not good. Flan's going down, guys. Or not. Okay, we're going to see if we can get a kill, a sneaky kill with Flan. Yep, we got a sneaky kill with Flan, so that's a level up for her. Here we are, we're just going to completely destroy this guy. Again, getting those combo attacks. And map cleared. Okay, so next we're moving on to the Golden Courtyard. I am just going to skip the story because that's what we do on this channel, so that you guys don't need to watch it twice. Okay guys, on this map we have got a shitload of monks, and we've got a dragon, and a healer. And some geo symbols, which is no entry, and no lifting. So that's always a pain in the butt. So we're going to have to use range to take out that blue geo symbol. But we can use this to our advantage and take out the four monks before anything else. So we're going to attempt to take out all of these monks. Okay, so we haven't managed to take any of them out this turn. You want to be really careful and not lose any characters before you take on that dragon. Now we can't get this around on these monks, so we're just going to have to go for it. So we're going to use Fawn's power of love and hopefully we take out that monk before he benefits from the same effect. Yep, we done. looking good. So now we can get Laharo up here and take out this guy with a hurricane slash. And just end our turn there. Okay, so now we have to destroy the no entry geo symbol. That might take a couple of turns. Yeah, it's going to take a couple of turns. 
As you can see, the moment I've started attacking that, they're starting to buff themselves up now. Getting ready. There we are. So we've only got no lift in now on that one. It's no big deal. And we can take out the rest of these guys. So we're going to get our melee front line up there, so none of our range take the brunt of it. They've actually got bows, which is not good. You see guys, if you'd fallen into the trap and walked right up there, you would have had to deal with two bowmen as well, and possibly lost your mage and healer. That's why it's always best to take out the initial four at the bottom. Okay, so here we are. Let's get this around. Surround tactic is the best tactic. Form up a bit higher. Move him up here. That's that. Those monks program to be really annoying. Okay, so now we're gonna go for a sky lunge. Get some special moves on the go. And take out this new guy that's just shown up. Not with Laharo thought. Okay, so we've just learned Mega Fire, which is always a good thing, because we could use more firepower. Just have to leave it at that. And let's see what that does for us. Yeah, so not going very well at the moment. Apparently minus 50 to fire, but only takes 10 damage. Makes a lot of sense, I suppose. Okay, they'll just have to do their worst. Yeah, so that's fallen, taken out, not so good. So, we're gonna finish off George right away with a Hurricane Slash. Hopefully. Yep, that's him gone. And then we're gonna have to move on to really getting this around on this Skeleton Dragon. Can't do any moves for Etna. to lose more characters here. Yeah, so we're about to lose our mage. 
never a good thing. But we're going to try and get this skeleton dragon down right now. Move her out of the way. Just can use Impaler. the dragon down. Next thing we need to do is heal up some dudes so we don't lose everybody. And that's game. So we can attack him from here, we can attack him from here. We can almost attack him from everywhere, actually, because we can attack him from here. And then we can use Pretty Barrage on him as well. Yeah, so we can get this complete surround on this guy, completely finish him off. And that's another map complete. Oh, and we went and got ourselves a Dark Rosary, which is an upgraded version of the Imperial Seal. So we're going to equip that on Laharl, make him even stronger now. And we're going to give the... I think we'll give the Imperial Seal to Etna. Okay, so in this map, we have got a crap load of monk women. One level 10 boss, and wow, just wow is all I can say, there is a lot of enemies on this map. So we're going to move our mage to the back. And we're going to attack three of them at the same time. Let's see what happens. Not bad. So we're gonna move Prinny up here and attack this one. There might be a lot of them guys, but they are only level four. And we're gonna go here. And move a Prinny here. And then we'll move no, we'll not move full on, we'll move it now. Up here. Attack this one. Try executing this and see what happens. Here I come. Of course, because the female monks are all going to counter, which is really annoying. And finally, we'll get formed to attack. So that's all we can do this turn. attacks going off, but not much damage. So we're going to keep working on this one, and we'll get Etna to finish this one off. <sighs> What's our mage doing? Want to conserve Laharl's SP as much as possible. The strat is guys get your melee fighters in the front so that none of your ranged are getting killed early on in this. You don't want your ranged getting killed early. I 
You've just got to make the tightest defense you can. So we've went and lost one printy. Not a huge loss. We can use our mage to use fire on three targets. And then we'll see what that does. Okay, so that's two of them gone. So we're going to have to deal with the boss right away. Not the most ideal situation to be in. But we can surround her so that she can't just start killing whoever she wants. Maybe not a printer. Maybe not the best idea to do a printer. I'm going to start using Hurricane Slash on her. And we're going to have to just use the normal attack because we don't want her jumping back one space and letting this boss out with Impaler. And we'll get this printer healed up. So this boss enemy just doing insane amounts of DPS. So again, we're just going to keep going with the Hurricane Slash. This time we're going to get an Impaler off. We're going to go full power. We're going to hit her with a Mega Fire as well. We're going to continue to heal the team and we're going to attack her with Flan, I think, as well. And we are going to just continue attacking. to defeat the main threat. So with the main threat out of the way, all the monks will start attacking now. Looks like we're going to lose our mage, which is unfortunate. So guys, it's all about just mopping up once you've done that. Just gonna use a blazing knuckle, try and finish off these two instantly. And then we're just gonna basic that car down. And our turn. Now we can use our healer to heal everybody. I 
and we're going to start making our way towards these enemies up at the top. Best way to do it is probably just to move Laharo, because probably can't do that much damage to Laharo in the first place. So we're just going to start hurricane slashing them down. Okay, so they're capable of doing a little bit of damage to him. Laharo's probably your best choice just simply because you don't want all your characters getting bombarded by arrow blasts. I know it takes a few extra turns, but it's the safest route. Counter, 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 counter. So now we're going to finish him off and complete this map. So I know that seemed like a really hard map, guys, but if you follow the steps I just did, you will be fine. Put your frontline fighters in front, put your range behind, your healers behind, create a big wall, and just fend them all off as you go along, and you'll be fine. Okay, guys, so next comes the boss fight. Which, again, is just going to be completely insane. So we've got to take down Hog Miser, who's level 12, so he'll be a little bit of a challenge. And we've got six monks to take on. So what we're going to do is, we're going to put our mage out right away. So we've learned magic boost, so that's good. So we're gonna have to block off all sides. Save the harrow for Hogmizer if you can. Bring out all your other melees. So no one can get past those four now unless they defeat them. So you want to just start whittling down these enemies. One by one. Now there's a couple of spear holders there, so they're going to be an issue. Yeah, and that'll do for now. So this is going to be quite difficult to deal with, guys. There might actually be far too much damage coming out. So we're going to go for the big fire attack. So yeah, that really helped well down their numbers there. With that in mind, we'd better bring out Laharu because they're hitting a lot harder than I first gave them credit for. So we need to first heal up this Prenny. And we just have to do as much damage as physically possible at this point. Laharu's not going to be too much use at the moment.
so these ones with the spears are just really powerful. They're just taking out everybody. So we're going to go ahead and rotate this and go for hopefully a triple fire attack. Yeah, so we're going to take out a huge amount of the opponents there. I'm going to sky lunge on this opponent here, and we're also going to get Flon to jump down here. And attack her as well, same with my healer, we're going to get the healer over here, and we're going to attack with the healer as well. Flan down and my healer almost down instantly. That's not a good thing. So we're going to move up here and we're going to. Oh, we're going to attack this guy. Got a mage to move up as far the back as possible. And he's still reached him anyway, so that's not good. And that's our healer dead. We're going to sky lunge this enemy again, and we're going to bring the Harold down. And use Hurricane Slash on him, and also use Mega Fire on him as well, since we're at that point. It's looking pretty dire, but we might be okay. So once again we're going to Hurricane Slash him, and then we're going to use Impaler on him. There we are. So now we're going to have to go and fight Hogmizer with just two characters, so we're just going to have to try and take him down the best we can. Here he comes. Now, he is really powerful, so we just have to do whatever we can to him. And with Etna gone, it's turned into a 1v1. But because Hogmizer's got so much HP, don't know how this is going to go. So it looks like we might be able to be him. Here we go guys, moment of truth. Yep, and we defeated them. That was really close there, but we did it guys, we did it. Alright guys, well, that was a really challenging four mini maps, but we managed to take it down. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to subscribe to the channel for future content. I'll be bringing up the next part of the Disgaea walkthrough tomorrow, look forward to that, and I'll see you later.